Hello everyone, my name is Alondra and today I will be talking about how to create and stick to a monthly budget for yourself. So first things first, when you are creating a monthly budget, it is very important to grab a notebook. There are other sources that you can use. You can use maybe like a budgeting app on your phone. You can use any type of spreadsheet that you would like. And also you can even use envelopes if you would like to. But for me personally, I just like to write things down myself and keep track keep track of it for myself. So for here with my notebook, I written out the month and you'll flip through each page write down the month beginning start date and all the way to the end date as well so for here with your monthly expenses you're going to include that as well and make sure you do include all of your monthly expenses expenses um meaning like if you have a full-time and a part-time job even like a side hustle anything that any form of income at all make sure that you include it onto your monthly income also here, I just set a budget a budget for the month of how much I would like to save or how much I would like to spend. Also here, we have written out like our monthly expenses. So of course, monthly expenses include um, rent, mortgage, car insurance, car notes, phone bills, groceries. Um, if you have kids, write down their expenses as well um, for school, trips, basketball, football, cheerleading, anything. Make sure you include those expenses as well. You can also write on here if you have like any short-term or long-term goals that you would like to reach, you can write that on here as well. Also included um, savings and emergency funds. Now, when you do start your monthly income, it is very important to know how to allocate your funds. So I've learned personally how to do the 50, 30, 20 rule, meaning that 50% of my stream of income will go towards my monthly expenses. And then 30% of my income can go towards my savings my emergency funds or to anything that I just want personally, whether that be like trips, a purse, some sunglasses, um, you know, just like maybe like a little retail therapy. <laughs> um, and then also 20% will go towards your savings. But again, you can adjust that to however you would like to, whether you can have 50% go towards your funds or I'm sorry, 50% can go towards your monthly cost of credit card bills, and then you can have 30% just go towards savings or once, or you can use the 20% to go towards your savings and once. Um, when you are creating a budget for yourself, it is very, very important to be disciplined. You have to have self-discipline and you have to be consistent. Make sure that you are looking at this regularly just to make sure you know you're staying on track. And by the end of the month, if need be, you come back, you do review your your budget and your monthly costs just to see if you need to make any any adjustments at all. Whether that can be, you know, maybe I need to save a little bit more or not go out as much, or maybe I do have a little bit more to spend if I would like to. Um, there are some other resources that you can use. You can, like I said, use a budgeting app. Personally, for me, thankfully, I do have an app on my phone that does show me how much money is being sent, spent on food, shopping, personal items, bills. Um, but also, like I said, I do keep this here as well. You can use a spreadsheet and then you can also speak with a financial advisor if you would like to. So more importantly, when you are creating this budget, it is very important, like I said, to stay on track, be very disciplined, make sure you are paying your bills on time and then also you do have a peace of mind with yourself when you do have this budget you're not stressing out so much and then again you are building a great financial security i hope this was very helpful for you all today and if you have any questions just let me know have a good one Bye bye